for some reason. Like, all I know is that the first name is Zeke. Oh, really? wait. <laughs> all right, everybody. Welcome to Just Audio, the pop culture podcast no one listens to. That right? That's right. We're back down to zero views. Um. Anyway. <laughs> um, and I feel it's well-deserved. See, a lot of people have come up to me, and they've said, Zeke. Clearly this podcast is brilliant, we just have a couple problems with it. It's unorganized, you just sort of run through a list, and you never really, and there's a lot of dead time, like this. So you're not even going to notice that dead time, because I edited it out? I know, maybe I'll edit it out. I'm probably going to edit it out, because that's what we got to do now. We got to keep things going, got to keep things moving, got to keep things lively, got to make sure you people want to listen to this. Yes. But today we got a lot of things to do. We got a lot of stuff. I have now segmented them into categories. Um, well, segments. That's what you do when you segment things into categories. You segment them. So we have a bunch of segments. Um, one of the, the one segment that'll probably always be there is um, things to look out for because there's always news. So there'll always be things to look out for. But there are various different segments that I want to do that'll probably come out weekly. Uh, they might come out this next week. They might be next week. Not that, that. But there'll always be about three segments we're going to do. The one that will always be there is things to look out for. Now, we're going to begin the podcast, as we always do, as you are expected, with weeks. How was your week? Oh, my week was fine, except uh, yesterday I was feeling uh, extremely tired all day. Hmm. Yeah, no, I had kind of a bit of a uh, lethargic streak myself yesterday. Mm. Yeah, I didn't do nothing. Just laid in bed, played that Fire Emblem. Yeah. Yep, Hoshido. Yeah, the second I, I'll stick to it, man. Second generation is the best one. No. The main Hoshida, like the main Hoshidans are boring. Sorry, like you, you would expect people who live in Japan could write good Japanese characters, <laughs> but no, <laughs> no, they can't. Oh, they, they okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um. So that was was that your week? Well, yeah. Ever since uh, you saw me by the. Uh... 3DS game Dragon Ball. Game hey, you brought Dragon Ball. How is Dragon Ball? Oh yeah, I managed to uh, go uh, far enough to unlock Broly. One of That's my good. Favorite vil- one of my favorite villains. Uh, I like. I like how it's, I like how he's so big that his blast attack can't, is o- is over everyone's head. He's like a '90s comic book character in an anime. <laughs> exactly. Like they got Rob Life. It's like okay, Rob Liefeld, I need you to make a Dragon Ball villain. All right, his name is Broly. Good job, Rob Liefeld. <laughs> no, no, he's even got fucked up feet. I, I know that Kiri Toriyama does like tr- does like kind of like an oval with like pointy tip feet. Yeah. But like even his feet are like a little bit weirder. And I know Rob Liefeld has problem drawing feet. He's gotten be- like he he can now. It's just before he couldn't. But that's because yeah. he was a young artist. Yeah. They, were, they were looking for just interesting art back in the nineties to grab people. Right, right, right. He's a cool. He's a good guy now. You look at you look at like um Deadpool and Cable, which was like a series in like the mid 2000s that looks fine looks good yeah he's, he's gotten way better there you go rob there's your there's your shout out <laughs> yes yeah uh a couple of a uh, couple of random guys shouting out a celebrity yeah um my week was interesting good um let's see god kind of just worked on my novel yeah. worked on that novel uh saved up enough money to keep myself from freaking out that i haven't finished my novel Oh. So that's fun. Sheesh. Also had fun, and then um, yeah, that was and yesterday. Of course, I, I didn't do shit but play video games. <laughs> didn't even write, but you know, sometimes it's good to have a day by yourself. Yeah. All right. Now, before we get into news, we're going to have a uh, special segment called "What's Coda Watching?" Coda. That's me, by the way. Yes, that is Coda. As you know, co-host Coda. Who did you announce yourself in the beginning of this video? Uh, I don't think we announced podcast shit. Continue. It's, it's uh, we. I don't think we announced. Uh, I don't think either of us announced ourselves. Oh uh, shit! Well, we did the. Po- well, we announced the podcast. Anyway, Zeke Fowler, as always. Kota, as always. As always. There you go, people. Done. And what about me? Um, like, what have you been watching? Because you, um, you have that television schedule, so I figured oh, yes. we'd uh work that into the podcast. Netflix. And yeah. Crunchyroll, of course. So Kota bought. Netflix and Crunchyroll, and he's been um, binging. He's been introduced to the world of binge watching that we've all been in for a while. So I'm just want to know, like, what's he been like? What's um, Coda, you know, what's he been watching? What's you been uh, listening to? What you've been liking? What you've been not liking? 
Okay, uh, I won't get through everything because because you have a lot of other. Just, no, pick the highlights. Every okay. every week, just, no, I'm every Wednesday, I just want you to pick the highlights. Okay. Um. Dead time. Sorry about that. Dead time. We're gonna edit it out, but that's okay. <laughs> um, Agents of Shield. Watching Agents of Shield. Yes. Yeah. Uh, finish the second one. I like how it concluded. Yeah, the second season's the best. No, not the second season. The uh, oh. second episode of the first season. Oh, the second episode of the first season. Okay. I like how that. I like how that episode concluded. Uh, should I? Should I talk about it? Kind of. Everyone's already seen it. Guys. Okay, never mind. Never mind. No, no, everyone's seen it, so you can talk about it. So you know how you know how they put a hole in the airplane. Yes. And then Nick Fury's uh, pissed off about that. Yeah. <laughs> we need to fix it. Just just fix it the way you found it. Like don't don't add anything like a like a fish tanker thing. All right. Oh no no! Of course not. We won't add a, we won't add a fish tank or anything. All right, that's all I needed. See you later. All right. Hello. Uh, we need to kill the fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Phil, yeah, Phil Coulson's gonna put a fish tank on the bus. Yeah. Yeah. Friends. Watching Friends. I'm watching Friends. Why do show of the '90s? Of, of course, and it, it shows one one black character. It has. It's, and it's uh, instead of a nurse or the yeah. But yeah, like yeah, it's not a bunch of guys talking about romance. Yeah, it's just. A, <laughs> It's just sitcom. It's pretty white. <laughs> yeah, it's white white sitcom. That's all it is. Is it um, anything else? Um, well, we got Netflix side of things. Um, how about Crunchyroll? Crunchyroll. What's the highlights from Crunchyroll? Uh, By the way, before we continue, we are not paid to talk about these things. We're j- this is just something I thought was interesting that Koda was doing. Yeah. Um. Um. The Idol Master. Since I can't play the game, this is the best thing I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Idol Master. Okay. So how's Idol Master been? Oh, it's uh, it's, it's great. I don't know how I, like, I don't know about the game, but I'm, but I'm hoping this uh, this adaptation will help uh, help me uh, learn more about them. Okay, okay. cool. And uh, anything else? Uh, there's been a lot of there's been a few classics on there, like uh, Roni Kenshin. Oh, fucking love Roni Kenshin. Got the book right there. You you have four five, five. issues. Am I five issues in? No, five five volumes in. I'm five volumes in. And Fist of the North Star. Bana, nah. <laughs> oh, speak. Oh. We got a funny Fist of the North Star related story later in the uh, podcast. Okay. Yeah, so keep that in mind. So is that uh, all your highlights? Got anything more? Um, not for now. Not for now? Okay. okay, cool. Then we are going to move on to news. And for our first news segment is things to look out for. Um, one of those things is the Indiegogo campaign for a, a British TV series, for a, a British web series called Super Zeros. Um, it is a uh, modern show inspired, bu- inspired um, in the vein of like that Adam West Batman TV show. Yeah. Like the da na 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 Warner Brothers don't sue us. Yeah. Yeah. So it's inspired by that. It looks really good. It's up on Indiegogo, and like I, I'd say support it. I think it's really funny. Oh, of course, Coda hasn't seen it yet, so we're going to pause this so Coda can see it. Unpause. Cool. Oh, that's going to work better for next time, now that we now know that. Okay, um, just showed uh, Coda here the um, the pitch for Super Zeros. I have seen those shorts. I'm going to show them to him later. Very sorry for that. Uh, but, so what do you think about the project? Well, I think it's great. You like it? Yeah, and I think it'll inspire uh, more people to, to, do, to do all those superhero uh, things. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like, it's people like, yeah, it's time for like, you know, a big resurgence of like independent superhero things, I do believe. Well, I do like the Marvel films, and I hope DC gets better because they are better, and they should be better. I mean, I like Marvel the like I do like Marvel the most, but the, sorry, off track. Never gonna talk about that. So anyway, <laughs> um, Super Zeros looks really nice. We're gonna put a link down in the dis- um, down in the description. Once again, we do not we are not associated with these people. It's just a cool project. We um we would like you to check out. Um, speaking of cool projects, we'd like you to check out. Um, if you're a fan of Power Rangers, which I am, a lot of the actors on Facebook have been um, changing their profile pictures to this upside down triangle, and they keep posting these like uh, videos of them in like mercenary of like different of those actors in mercenary gear, and um, they, like something that keeps saying like the order is coming, and on Indiegogo there's a campaign for an action move for like a. Like, I'd say more like a expendable style action movie starring a male, a, like, across, like, across the ages. Even Yoshi Susurado, who is, like, the current Blue Ranger, is in this, uh, is in this show. Um, it's this, um, of, like, different Power Ranger actors going back, for, like, from Mighty Morphin to Dino Charge now. 
all of these guys, really? like the people taken out, and it's, it's not just like people who know each other from different shows, like people who've been taken from different shows, because oh. they go to those conventions and they meet each other and they all have Power Rangers in common. So why wouldn't they, right, right. you know, be friends? So that's a, so that looks cool. Um, the two main characters look to be uh, David Yost and um, uh, oh, Austin St. John, who, of course, respect um, respectfully are. Billy and Jason from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, mm. and that's cool. They they look like grizzled badasses, right? <laughs> yeah. And then you have uh, what else? You got a lot, of, a lot of cool shit. Like it's it's like um, it looks really good for like a YouTube video. I mean, like like they're I mean they are actors. They are trained actors. A lot of them went to college. Just sort of like once you go to Power Rangers, you just have the stigma of being a Power Ranger. Really, like I believe the only actors who got who got to do any work outside of that are um, uh, um, the guy who played Eric in Time Force and then um, um, Aaron, the lady who played Jen in uh, Time Force as well. Only two Time Force actors are in different things. And um, even that time, even um, Quantum Ranger from Time Force, even he has a voice acting job as, uh, uh, oh god, Virgil from uh, Devil May Cry. Do not know why that was on off. Don't know why my brain was so far away from that. God, I can't talk. Podcast is about talking, and I can't talk. I think it's because I'm trying too hard. Oh, God. Dead space. Can't have dead space. Anyway. <laughs> okay, we're editing him out anyways. Yeah, we're editing him out. I guess it's time to... Uh, yeah, I'm just... Dead space. Anyway, um... Yeah, we'll edit all of this out, for sure. <laughs> but, um... Alright, back, tr- right, back on track. Um, the Order appears to be a uh, story about a group of mercenaries... They get fucked over by the people who ma- by the people who um uh, they worked for. By the way, their boss is, pl- is um the guy who played Bulk um uh, Bulk and Skull from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. All this cool stuff. Um, <laughs> it's based. Okay, long story short, it's Expendables with Power Rangers, and we and you should totally support it. There will be a link in the description. Um, according to them, they're going to make this film regardless. And from what I have seen, from since they have an actual trailer and they have like costumes and all this stuff, the, a movie might be close to being made. The Indiegogo campaign appears to be uh, a way, appears to be a uh, plussing program. Like they could just make this really badass YouTube video that everyone's gonna like, or they could make something that would probably like air on Netflix, like Netflix quality of a uh, telev- of like television program. You know, yeah, could be something like that. But um, I'm. Like if I had a if I had money to support it, I would. So which is why I'm gonna put it down the, uh, in the description. You check it out, judge for yourself, and support it on your own free will. All right, moving on from that. Um, big oh, this is a big callback to the very first episode of this show yeah. back when we had Michael as a host. Uh. Um, by the way. Um, for any people wondering about the Michael thing, originally I was going to do this gag where, where um, uh, Michael left and I was going to go like gradually insane as the podcast went on, but it's really, I haven't been keeping up with that very well, and it makes the first two episodes, like the first like three episodes of the show makes me look like a whiny asshole, so I'm not going to do it anymore. The reason Michael isn't here anymore is because his lease isn't up. In uh, Ellensburg, so we gotta wait for that. And when he comes back, because Coda has done a good job, I want it to turn into a three-person podcast, so we get three opinions. Yeah, yeah, threesome. I mean, um, three, three people. Yeah, you can't. No, you can't make that not sexual, Coda. You can't make that not sexual. <laughs> I was, I was going, I was gonna do that anyways. Yeah. Anyway, call back to the first episode. Um, there was a rumor going around that the next Netflix series of shows was going to be. Punisher, Spider-Man 2099, Moon Knight, Blade, and Ghost Rider. While Spider-Man 2099 isn't there, if you've been on the internet, you've seen the Netflix trailer, you've seen the Netflix, um, like, teaser for the Punisher, and I believe anyone who thought the Punisher wasn't happening after he appeared in Deadpool, uh, De- not Deadpool, Daredevil Season 2 is a fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, isn't isn't the isn't the Punisher show no his appearance in the episode is for the show, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. No, no, that's 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 the joke. Okay, it's like Marvel's acting like aha, you didn't see it coming, but Punisher, they were always gonna make Punisher, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, Spider Man twenty nine did not happen, but Ghost Rider, Blade, and Moon Knight are coming to Netflix as new series. Uh, so many Marvel characters to. <laughs> also, if you notice, those are like. Those were like the three supernat, like three supernatural characters. Oh yeah, yeah. the because uh, like 
<laughs> Ghost Rider is a um, fallen angel possessed minion of the devil. Um, Moon Knight is a person is a crazy guy with schizophrenia, imbued by the powers of an Egyptian moon god, and is Batman. And you have Blade, who we all know. Hey, we all know who Blade is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we all know who Blade is. We also all know what he said once. But some motherfuckers always trying to ice skate uphill. We all know who Blade is. We, we know who he is. Anyway, we know who Blade is, and I'm excited for that. Are you excited for that? I don't know. I still need to watch all the other Marvel stuff. Uh, like Daredevil that. and Jessica Jones? Right. Yeah, Luke Cage is coming up, too. Yeah, so. and so is uh, Iron Fist. And... They only got, like, I believe they're only, like, seven episodes each. So like, Or, like, at least, they're about, like, eight, like 13 or seven episodes each. You can just... Huh. Boom, boom, go through each season. All right, then. Like, 13-hour movies. But anyway, uh, so yeah, that's cool. Um, still keeping up with Marvel news. Um, it has been reported that 90% of Black Panther, um, of, Black Panther of the Black Panther movie cast, is going to be um, African and or African-American. Does that mean it'll mostly take place in Wakanda? I think that's what they're saying. Okay. And my when I first even though like when I first heard about this news, my whole thing was like, oh no shit, it's gonna be in Wakanda. That's in Africa. That's of course it'd be ninety percent black people. That's it's Africa. <laughs> but everyone else was talking about like, oh, this is a big thing. This is like so profound. I suppose it is because it is a black direct it is a black directed, black written, like um. Oh, like 90% Af like African and African American cast of characters for the first black superhero, Black Panther. It is an achievement, I suppose, but Black Panther is an African is an African king of Wakanda, and if it's taking place in Wakanda, no shit. That's sort of <laughs> that yeah, was I mean, my, everyone else. That was, that was just my feelings on this. It, it, more question: Who is the 10% of the other race? Iron Man? It, it was, no, it's probably Captain America, because like, Cap, like, because they're. Like, um, his team of Avengers are hiding out in Wakanda. They have oh, Sanctuary yeah. there. Oh, yeah. And, like, no one's gonna fuck with, like... Iron Man's not gonna be like, Yo, T'Challa, what the fuck, man? T'Challa's gonna be like, Diplomatic immunity. <laughs> fuck you. Okay. Are you. Oh, you want a you wanna war with Wakanda? We're the most technologically advanced civilization on the planet. We had isolationist... Um, we, we were an isolationist country for such a long time that we're better than all of you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you, Tony. But anyway, that's so. I'm excited for Black Panther. Yeah, you excited for Black Panther? Yep. Ever since Civil War. Ever since Civil War. God damn it. Chadwick Boseman showed the show. Stole the stop. Ah, he he did show the show. He showed the show and then he took it away from himself. He stole it. He stole it from himself because he's so good. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um. Uh. Speaking of TV series and sci-fi, Huda Huba Baloo. Huba Baloo. That's not a word. Um, the or, oh, ah, Kevin Smith, my favorite director. I know he hasn't been hot as of late, but he's still my hero and my big inspiration for wanting to be a writer, wanting to make things. I'm certain if Kevin Smith was here, he'd probably say something like, Are you out of your fucking mind? Are you high? Of course you are. Me too. <laughs> anyway, Kevin Smith, anyway, I love Kevin Smith. And I also love the cult classic ser um, film, Buckaroo Banzai. Kevin Smith is also loves that movie, and that is supposedly his inspiration to want to be a filmmaker. Hmm. Um, ever since his episode of The Flash, um, called Runaway Dinosaur, um, he directed it. Oh. Beautifully directed. That's the Kevin Smith I knew, and that's the Kevin Smith I miss. Um, but uh, no, I have. I still like his movie. I still like his movies. T except Tusk. Uh, I have hope. I think Yoga Hosers will be just fine. But um, but anything else? Uh, it looks cool. Um, anyway, he's gonna do Buckaroo Banzai. Um, I like his pitch, which is that um, the first season would just be the movie, and then the second season would be the sequel that we weren't promised, which was Buckaroo Banzai versus the Syndicate of Evil. Now, Coda, yes. do you know what Buckaroo Buckaro Banzai is? No. no. Neither does anyone else, <laughs> but that's okay. It's a cult classic. Um, what Buckaroo Banzai is, is basically, um, it's about a guy who is a physicist, musician, um... St uh, stunt car man, like stunt, like stunt man, yeah. um, badass who has figured out how to break into the eighth dimension. Oh, and he does this, and in doing so, it allow, and in doing so, he goes to a um, alien reality, the eighth dimension, where these uh, there's these creatures called the Lectroids. There's the red Lectroids and the black Lectroids. Uh, the black Lectroids are good. The red Lectroids are um like are metaphors for com are very are metaphors for communism, and um it's it's very fun. 
It's a lot better than I'm des- than I'm describing it. <laughs> you have it's kind of something that I'm gonna have to like. Okay, we got it. We're gonna we're gonna watch it now. Yeah. Actually, that'd be a probably good first episode to another podcast I want to start doing. But um, it's, but um, yeah, I like Buckaroo Banzai. I'm sorry I can't eloquently describe it enough to you. That's okay. But, you know, it's Buckaroo Banzai. Why the fuck am I using big words? I'm not smart. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I'm excited for that. And your what the fuck is Buckaroo Banzai? Okay, sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is that it? That's it. That's it? Okay. Um, here's something that you're an expert on. Yeah. Shonen Jump. Oh, yes, yes. I know a lot about Jump. Okay. Did you hear about um, Jump's latest poll? Uh, which, which one? Okay. They asked their female readers, who is the sexiest villain? Well, I... Okay. Oh, uh, we're, yeah, no, I haven't heard of that. Because of uh, where we live and where Jump is from, I'm weeks behind. Uh. Fair enough. Um, but anyway, um, would you like to know who number one was? Okay. It's going to be a big no-brainer. Right. Dio Brando, oh. of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure fame, was sexiest um, like supervillain Se- from sexy, Jump. Sexiest supervillain from Jump, yeah. Yes. It was either him or Merrick, his star. No, no, um, number two, um, going in order, I think number two was Ahsoka from Hunter x Hunter. Yeah. But none of that matters. What matters is who number four was. Who was number four? Rao from Fist of the North Star. Oh my gosh, the, the <laughs> girls find him sexy. <laughs> I love that. It's, no, it's like, I was looking through the list and I just went, number four, Rao? Good for you, buddy. Um, for those of you who don't girls know... Girls watch Fist of the North Star. Girls do watch... Who? Of course girls watch Fist of the North Star. It's full of a bunch of buff men ripping their shirt off and fighting each other. <laughs> that sounds like something girls would like. <laughs> and, then they, and then they go to Pixiv and draw Kinshiro across route. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they do. But anyway, for those who don't know, Fist of the North Star is um, the anime version of Mad Max. And the, like, final story arc villain was is named Rao. And he's this Goliath of a man. He's also blonde, even though he's Japanese. And it's not hair dye. But that's that's comic books for you. You can make things up in comic books. Yeah. So that's all the things we want you to look out for. Um, now, on the flip side of that, we're going to go into something called Things You Should Reconsider. The first thing on Things You Should Reconsider is Fox is going to have a, is, um, going to have a rocky horror picture show reboot anniversary movie so in honor of like it's like supposedly this year is going to be like the uh, i believe the 40th 40th anniversary is like 70s right yeah probably yeah, back in the 70s 40th anniversary of the rocky horror picture show mm-hmm. which is a cult classic movie and play that i don't really think you know like my personal opinion it's something you don't really need to touch upon like if you're gonna have an anniversary why not just show that movie but they didn't do that they made a new one oh. and um I don't know. It looks it looks like a fox thing. Yeah, huh? it's that's kind of it. My, like that one's kind of the lesser offense of like things to reconsider. I mean, if it turns out good and people like it, sure. But I really think it's just one of the things of like why you know like you already got you already got like you know flawless cheese gold right there. You gonna make a new one? Okay, we'll see. I Man, I saw the trailer for it. It doesn't look doesn't look terrible. I like who they got for Doctor Frankenfurter. It's uh, Laverna Cox from uh, Orange is the New Black. Well, I have not watched Orange is the New Black. I've seen a lot. Of clips of that uh of that ac- of that um that actress and she's cool yeah, yeah that's cool uh, yeah that's that's it mm. that's all I gotta say about that it's really just eh <laughs> okay Transformers Five is called Transformers um the last night and uh, are you a fan of tra- like you're not a fan of Transformers though are are not you the big, not, a, not the biggest one but uh not the biggest one but you know some shit I, I know some shit. okay I'm a huge fan of Transformers and I don't know what the fuck that is referencing <laughs> <laughs> what is the last night is it Optimus because they just seem to g- keep giving him shields and swords. I mean, the, the the teaser of it is like Optimus Prime's face with like all of the paint, all the very <laughs> all the paint just kind of like peeling off, and his eyes are turning purple. And the last movie was shite, but they hinted at the Quintessons. So, and for those who don't know who the Quintessons are, they're a very complex part of the Transformers lore. They're they're a group of like robotic alien assholes. They're not transformers. They're like these floating like floating uh light bulbs with like five faces in them, and each face is, a, is it represents a different emotion they have. Mm. 
Um, so that, that's what's happening. And I just thought while I put that on that list is because, you know, maybe, um, you know, I'm not often one that says, hey, let's, I'm often the guy that goes, hey, let's sit down and fix this instead of reboot things. Um, I think Transformers is due for a reboot. Maybe yeah. we just, you know, just wipe the table, do it again. <laughs> Why not? Let me have a new, uh, crew on it. it. Might have a new crew on it. No, still Michael Bay. Still, still everyone, still everyone. And even like, uh, like dudes from like the original movies are coming back except Shia LaBeouf because Shia LaBeouf is a joke now. Yeah. Well, he always was. Now he's just like an unfunny joke. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a pariah, if you will. So, yeah, it's that. I don't know, it's just, if they're already making things up and not paying attention to any of the source material or lore, or even trying to, like, reference it, you know, it's time to stop. I mean, yeah. I have nothing, like, nothing against original concepts. A lot of the mo- a lot, a lot of, like, the TV shows, different TV shows, have had original concepts. But, they're, like, like I said, they've always been based in, like, like, oh, this is based on this. This is inspired by this. This uh-huh. is where this comes from. And it's just, I don't think any, like, the last night, nothing really references or leads up to that. I mean, the Dinobots, I mean, I got the Dinobots from, like, the fifth movie. That's the only toy I bought, because it's the only thing I liked from it. They all look like knights, but I don't, I don't know. <laughs> So what I'm getting is uh, with all this original thing that's not based on any source material, it might as well be its own movie. It might as well be something different or its own movie. Like I don't know. I think kind of at this point, I'm just being a Debbie Downer about it. But I don't know, man. I'm just yeah. Eh. It's, I guess I, I guess like really, I put this on at, like things to reconsider, and I didn't really think about it. But here's something that totally fits this list. Yeah. Um, sci-fi has okayed the production of a series yeah. called Krypton. 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 The, the, the planet. The planet that um, Superman's from. Oh, yep. It take um and the fun of that is is that it's an alien planet we, full we, of people we, that look like us who can't who are exactly like us but, on an alien planet. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! It's Krypton, right? Don't we already know how that's how this series will end? I uh, know it's, <laughs> it's 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 about when it's about before it became interesting. Oh. And um, on Krypton, it's gonna take place two hundred years in the past. Yeah. It's going to be about Superman's grandpa. Yeah. About how he brought justice and equality to Krypton. Which, if you've looked at Krypton, it's a sterile. Um, have you ever seen like clips of Krypton from like any of the other comics before it blows up? It's a sterile um, conformist culture. So he sounds like a dick. Oh. <laughs> if, if his men, if, if his methods are that, and that's what's happening, either he fails or he's a dick. So there's that. And then you have, what is this? Okay, and it's written by David um, Goyer, who wrote Batman v Superman, and Man of Steel, and the Blade movie. Oh. So I all... No, no, no. He, he wrote Blade 1. And he wrote Blade 1, so... He wrote Blade 1? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everything else is bullshit, and he clearly... And he hates comic book people. It's so weird. He hates comic book fans, and he hates comic book lore, and he likes writing comic book movies. Uh, he he just strikes me as one of those people who's like, whatever this sissy kid book shit, I can write it better. That's totally how I view him. Yeah. Anyway, he's an asshole. I'm not excited for this. You shouldn't be excited for Krypton. It's dumb. As a stupid premise. Yeah, it's, it's about a... It's about a planet that it's if it's not earth or it's pretty much it's you no know, it's krypton like it's, it's a planet full of people this is where super if krypton was still around this is where superman would go to be normal the yeah, superman would be normal there like nothing it, it would be it's just, it's just like why not just make a like this is just like caprica all over again except caprica was actually good because it was about the fucking planet caprica uh, this isn't like where pe- where human beings are from and it's about the fall of a civilization that constantly recycles itself through being humans kill it, fucking themselves over by making cylons and then dying and doing it over again like that's that's what that's what that was that was the beginning of that like krypton would just be about like oh yeah do you think one day the planet would blow up <laughs> What? That's crazy. <laughs> That's it's Krypton. It's fucking dumb. I'm sorry. Like I'm sorry to be like a little angry about that. And I apologize for boring you with the first two things that need to be reconsidered because they're just more like wise than just don'ts. But this is a do- okay. The first two may have been wise, yeah. but this one's a don't. This uh, one's definitely a don't. Yeah. Dead space. Anyway, <laughs> um, we have next a uh, final segment of our of our podcast is called Toys for Kids. Toys for Kids. Toys for Kids. To- yeah. Toys for Kids. And um, the joke of that name is that it is spelled um, toys, but I put a period at the end of toys, so I kind of stop myself, and then I have for kid with another period, so I can like correct myself. There uh, goes the joke. There goes the joke because I explained it. But anyway, this is gonna be a segment of the show where like a bunch of cool shit, a bunch of cool toys come out. 
out and we're gonna talk about them. All right, first one, Common Rider Complete Selection Buys Gear. For those of you who don't know, there is a Japanese television program in Japan called Common Rider, and it's a superhero show for kids. Kids like it. But also, it's been around for um, 70 years. So, oh, no, 40, 40. years. About 40 years. It's been around for like 45 years. So there's a lot of adult fans as well. So what the uh, what the complete selection um, se uh, toy series is, is that toy for adults. And they've done Kamen Rider Decade. They've done W. They've done, a nu they've done other characters that you don't even know what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to stop naming them. But the next character on the list is a very popular one, Kamen um, Common Rider Fies, and how he would transform is that, like all the Common Riders, they have a belt. All the Common Riders, except for Hibiki and Amazon, have belts. And what he's going, and what the belt, how the belt worked was, it was a belt, and he would take out a flip phone, and he would type in the word five three times, he would close it, and in a Japanese voice trying to speak English, it would go, standing by. <laughs> Complete. Do, 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 and, like Tron lines would show up on him, and then the Tron lines would um, turn into foam, and then certain parts of the foam would become metal. That's the description of the thing. I didn't make the show, but anyway, I really like Comrade Fies, and I'm very happy with this. Yeah. Um, with the toy, you get the Fies belt, you get the Fies phone, you get the you, you get the scope. He attaches to his foot so that he can do the Crimson Smash. You can also attach the scope to his phone. His phone also turns into a gun, by the way. Not only a transformation device and a working phone, it is a gun. We can't make that up. It is a gun, and in fact, it has two modes, blast mode and single mode. What single mode is, is a real, la is a real laser in which you just hold a button and a beam comes out. And then blast mode is just rapid fire plasma bolts. Although I don't think those would come out of, from the toys. No, those would not come out of the toys. They would just probably like choo -choo -choo -choo, cool noise. Yeah. Um, it comes with that. It also comes with um, uh, what's it called the Fi Also comes with the Fi's um punch booster, which was this t uh, CD deck that was actually a um, it was actually a gauntlet that he could put on his arm, and then um, if he puts his like a chip that's in his um belt, he'd put that in the gauntlet, and then he could punch people. He could punch monsters, and those monsters would disintegrate into blue flames. And that is that is that toy I like that I've sh I think I've showed you Comrade Fies before, haven't I? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's the he's the guy with the kind of like kind of looks like a firefly. He's got like, the right. silver silver and uh, red costume. Yeah, yeah, and he has the five 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 phone number. Yeah. Boing boing boing, standing by. Yeah. Yeah, we always make that joke. Um, so that's cool. I'm happy for that. If you're a Common Rider fan, um, you should be happy for that and probably pick it up. If I had the money, I would get it. In fact, there's a lot of things if I had the money I would get. Um, another thing coming up in toys, um, Pokemon Sun and Moon, a Japanese trailer. Um, there was a Pokemon hidden in the trailer. Yeah. yeah, Pokemon that we, like, not mentioned at all. It's a brand new Pokemon. You can tell by the sprite. Oh, I um, the you only get to see the ass of the sprite, but it's there. And, yeah, um... The, 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 the screen thing. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, the, from the Coral Coral, um, uh, trailer screen cap. Um, people have spec... Um, from... It look, kind of looks like a dog, but people also speculate it might be some kind of deer, because if you look at its feet, it's got hooves. But also, it could just have, like, black fur in its feet. So, it's a... It's a Pokemon... Probably a normal type. Could be a dog or a deer. It's hidden in the video. That's cool. Yeah. A little Easter egg for the fans to gawk over for a while. Right, right. So, uh... <laughs> So is that, is that for uh, is that for the toys? That's part of video games are toys. Oh, never mind then. Yeah, video, you think of uh, like, video game is a dude. A video game is a luxury item. Like we don't need video games to live. I don't need all of these Transformers and Power Rangers shit or even to to live. I just have them because I like them. Okay, so I thought you meant there was a toy based on that. <laughs> No, there's not a toy based on that Pokemon. Just okay. Sun, Pokemon Sun and Moon and the 3DS it, it goes in, by definition, is a toy. Right, right. That's why it was on the list. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Sorry, that came off a bit harsh. Anyway, um, and also in Pokemon news, Pokemon Go is having field tests in North America. Oh, yes. Mainly Manhattan. No, I'm just kidding. Mainly, no, all over America. Yeah, all, I know. all North America. I'm just trying to make a Unova joke. <laughs> Unova joke. Yeah. Um, I don't think Unova's going to be part of this. Um, from what people have, like, ROM hacked from when they got to test it in uh, Japan, yeah. it appears to only have Gen 1 Pokemon. Oh, okay. I think, it'd start off, I think it's what they'd probably do with it. They'd start off Gen 1 and, like, each update. Update it. And, like, update every, every, different, every... you know, every generation. Yeah. Yeah. And it supposedly is going to have connectivity to the game. 
game, so you could probably trade over, po trade Pokemon from that game, use trade Pokemon, Pokemon from, uh, you know. Use Pokemon Go to get someone with a unique unique attack or something. Yeah, or like, yeah, all that cool, all that cool stuff. So that's all we have. Still ran through a list, so we will work on that critique. Um, in fact, it was three lists we ran through, so ha ha! Technicality! <laughs> yeah, that won't get us out of it. <laughs> no, that's not gonna get us out of this. Anyway, um, I want to thank the people who came to me and um gave me this uh um, constructive criticism on how to make the podcast better. Um, we are still working to refine things, and of course, we want people to listen to this. We want people to come to our um, channel and enjoy. So, if you are listening, um, always like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you around the Milky Way. Bye.